All right, so as you guys can see, you know, I'm smiling from ear to ear like the Grinch on Christmas. I'm excited. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 looking absolutely amazing, but, but, and this is a big but, um, I don't really do breakdowns for every game. I do do breakdowns for games that I'm really, really, really excited about, and Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is one of them. I literally just got done watching Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Direct, and uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I took down a bunch of notes. I got a bunch of information for you guys, so if you guys haven't already, bro, sit back, relax, and soak in this information, because I'm being honest with you. Listen, this is looking... Man, 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 listen, I, I, I got chills right now, bro, 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 bro. The adrenaline is, is running through my, it's running through my brain right now. I'm just excited. So hopefully you guys are um, excited just like me. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. So yeah, make sure you guys do that. You, you did it? All right, let's go. Let's get right into it. So, and the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Direct, and also I'm going to react to the full Direct tomorrow. I got to get a lot of the uh, Xbox showcase like uh, trailers up. Um, so this is why like the full direct reaction will be up tomorrow. Now listen, first of all, <laughs> first of all, if you guys didn't hear already, the campaign will be taking place in like the early 90s. I'm, so at first I thought it was gonna probably gonna take place like night like late 90s, early 2000s, you know, hence why it was like a lot of like you know, um, like cons like government conspiracy and stuff like that. I thought they were gonna have like a like a 9/11 mission and stuff like like a lot of people thought they were gonna have like a like a 9/11 like mission. Like they thought it was gonna be like absolutely crazy. So um, it's gonna take place in the early 90s. So that's great. Um, and so yes, if I'm <laughs> a lot of my notes are legit like just out of order because like I'm just like typing down everything like to my mind that I'm like I'm hearing from the direct. Um, and so this is going to be like just, just, just flash, just tips, not tips, but just flash like, um, information that I got. Okay. Now we got ground based zombies are, uh, sorry, I said ground based round based zombies are back. So the normal, like regular, like round based zombies. Yeah. That's coming back. I don't even know why they took it out the game. You know why they did all that, but I'm gonna be honest with you. It's coming back. I mean, really excited for it. All right. Frank Woods, Frank Woods is in the game. He's in a wheelchair. Um, it's kind of tough. What's makes I mean, if, if I'm being honest with you, I mean, it would be kind of cool to see him, you know, go out there and, like, you know, fight with us or whatever. But he's in a wheelchair. Most likely, he's probably going to, like, be in, like, the comms or whatever. Um, and so, the main character, well, I don't know if it's, like, the main protagonist, but, uh, you know, the, um, the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 cover art, that guy, his name is Troy Marshall. Now, uh, supposedly, he's, like, some, like, he's, he's experienced, but, like, he's, like, a newer guy. Uh, he's going to be working with Woods to, like, you know go up against these conspiracies and, and find the truth obviously if you guys don't know uh, call of duty black ops 6 their whole thing was like oh don't trust nobody find the truth you know people will trade on you and stuff like that um and, and, and yeah and so yeah um uh, oh my god what's the guy's name adler is it adler oh, i hate his face i hate it the guy with the glasses adler bro the guy that we portrayed it well that you actually got the option to portray it in like call of Duty uh cold war and I'm going to be honest with you. I portrayed him. I hated the guy. I just hated the way he looked. He just disgusts me. I just, you know, if I had, like, if I had the chance, I would just, okay, let me stop. I just turned into a school threat right there. But, um, yeah, Adler returns. Um, I mean, well, he's a good, he's a good bad guy. That's the thing. He's a bit, he's a good bad guy. Um, he, he most likely will betray us again. Uh, but let, let's just hope that we actually get to kill him this time. Um, <laughs> all right. Oh. It's going to be a variety in missions. So, and, and here's the thing. For me, like, I like, like, I'm going to be honest with you. If, if a Call of Duty campaign was just me just, you know, coming out of a truck and, you know, I, I'm with, let's say I'm with Woods, I'm with Marshall, and, you know, we're just we're just going door by door, you know, taking out enemies or whatever. And if every mission was like that, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, cool. It would be repetitive, but I wouldn't really have a problem with it. I, I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. So when they say variety of missions is going to be, you know, you having to be, uh, you know, uh, stealthy. You having to steal this. This most likely going to be a, like a lot of open, like you know, missions because in Modern Warfare Three, they they actually tried that a lot to where you there was like there was like no objective, like like the end objective was to get the key card from the guy. But then they'll say, oh, well, you know, you need to get the key card in this place right here. And now it's like you have to, like, find your own weapons. You have to take off this guy right here. You have to sneak up behind this guy and, like, you know, twist his neck and stuff. Like, it's crazy. So, like, a lot of these open, like, missions, like, I think it's called, like, open world missions. I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of like that concept a lot. I like this. It gives off, like, a, um, it gives off, like, a, like, a war zone type of thing. I don't know why, but, like, 
Maybe because like Warzone is open, but like obviously in like a campaign mission, you usually like following a guy or like they'll usually tell you what something is. Um, and they'll have like a it'll have like a distance meter to see like if you're getting close to it. That's like a regular like Call of Duty type. It's not even Call of Duty. That's like a regular thing in like most story modes. But like in like an open world mission, whatever, you know what you have to get, but like they're not going to tell you, oh, how to approach it. It's up to you. So if you're like a guy that like, you know, that likes to run and gun like me, um, you can do that. If you like to be stealthy, you can do your own way, too. So um, and then like there's going to be like different like missions to where like you have to like um, it, it's like the classic. Uh, they'll put you in like a is it like a chopper gunner or whatever? I don't think it's like a, they'll put you in like a chopper gunner. You got to like provide like support, you know, for somebody else. And it's just different ways of like it's like different ways and like the different missions. I like that a lot. Um, so what's our next bet right here? Um, oh, different enemy types. I mean, let me get some water a bit because I'm going to be honest with you. This actually like surprises me, but I like it. I like it. Okay, make sure you guys drink your water. <laughs> drink your water. <laughs> so different enemy types. So it just won't be regular, just weak enemies. Some enemies will have a bunch of armor on, and it's gonna take like a full clip to get rid of them. Some other enemies are gonna have like a like a big like it's kind of like a juggernaut. Some enemies are gonna have like a big like machine gun with extra armor on, with like a shield on the gun. Like bro, it was crazy. Like it, it was like bro. When I seen it, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. That's cool and all. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. I think that it's cool. I think it's cool because, like, it's different. But, like, like if I'm being... All right, my bad, y'all. As I was saying, you know, I had, a, I had a little mishap. I'm sorry about that, y'all. So, basically, different type of enemies, bro. Some enemies are going to have, like, a ton of armor on. Some enemies are just going to have, like, the regular, like, standard armor or whatever. And some enemies, bro, are going to have, like, juggernaut type of builds. I know I said that before. I just wanted to, like, clarify that real quick. So, I'm going to be honest with you. It will be kind of, like, irritating if I'm, like... <laughs> It would be kind of irritating, bro, if, if I'm just, like, shooting all these... Bro, if I'm wasting, like, a whole clip on, like, a guy with, like, a bunch of armor or whatever, and then, bro, I turn around and there's a guy with, like, a big, like, just machine gun with a shield on the machine gun with, like, with a bunch of armor, bro. I, I get, like, get behind cover to, like... It would be irritating, but at the same time, it would be fun because it offers, like, a new challenge. So, I like that a lot. Um, that was actually a good move by them, too. All right, so what else we got? Um, 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 um... Oh, oh my God. Listen, I want... No, no, no. I want to leave that for last. I want to uh, listen. I wanted to talk about the Omni movement. I'm gonna leave that for last. I'm gonna leave that for like the last few minutes of the video. Um, all right. So, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know, should I talk about it now? Okay. Wait. Before we get into that, let, let's talk about the uh, let's, let's talk about the hub. Okay. So now for the hub, right, bro? You can change. Pff, you can change the hub, bro. You can move the mini map. You can change like like the like the um. Like the aiming, like like the hub. Oh my goodness, great. brother, brother. When have we ever been able to do that? When have we ever? When have we ever? When have we ever been able to move the mini map, brother? That's something that I've been asking for the game for, since years. I, I think they're finally listening to me. That's something that a lot of people have been asking me for. They're like, bro, can I move? Like, can I like actually like move the mini map? Like, can I like move some stuff like on the hub? And and bro, and bro, they're like, yes, we can do that, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I, th I feel like for Black Ops 6, they've listened. That's the thing. I feel like they, they listen to the community. And they're like, okay, cool. They want this. All right, we'll put this in, but also we want this as well. Brother, oh my God. Listen, Treyarch, Activision, I'm going to be honest with y'all. This might be like the most perfect Call of Duty in like the last few years. I'm just being honest with you. That's what I have to say about it. Uh, theater mode is back. Theater mode is back. Classic. I'm actually glad that they're bringing that back. So for multiplayer... 16 new maps i'm gonna be honest with you that's actually fire now let's be real here they're not gonna give us like i wasn't expecting i'm, I'm gonna be honest with you i did want nuketown <laughs> i did want nuketown to be in the game but obviously like the whole nuketown 2025 thing for like next year i understand i i listen listen we all understand i want a new town to be like you know to be in, in in the new call of duty but i was like you know what they're not gonna do that um you know the same for next year which would you know which makes sense you know um what else we got all right I, I really i don't really have anything else oh oh my god prestige now the prestige system is back there's gonna be 10 prestigious in a call of duty uh multiplayer and bro and then, and then, and then, and then, there's a thousand extra levels. First of all, here's the thing, right? I'm all in, I, listen, I'm all in for the whole, okay, cool. I want to reach prestige and stuff like that, bro. 
but bro let's be honest bro there's people that are gonna that's gonna hit like the a thousand like extra levels type of thing people are gonna hit that bro some people do not care some people are menaces bro some people will stay on the game all day all night and here's the thing it's summertime too it's summertime so guess what kids are on the game all day every day adults they're on it listen listen adults they don't have to wake up early to take their kids to school so you know they're gonna be playing the game all night like it's crazy bro and so listen one more thing i want to talk about is the omni movement probably the most impressive thing and i i listen in my opinion i think this is like one of the most impressive thing of of the of the of the whole direct the omni movement brother brother Obviously, let me break let me break this down like like I'm like I'm feeding food to a baby. Let me break it down. Brother, you know how like you sprint? Bro, you know you can sprint backwards, right? I'm like, huh? They're like, yeah, you know you can sprint backwards. I'm like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Since when? They're like, oh, okay, cool. You know, um, you know you you know you can sprint sideways, right? You know you can sprint left, sprint right, right? Brother, when have we a when have we ever when have we ever in a million gazillion years been able to sprint backwards and sprint left sprint brother the movement brother if you think the movement was cracked already in call of duty modern warfare 3 brother the this whole omni movement thing is going to change up the game all you movement called uh, uh movement content creators out there bro y'all about to have a field day y'all are about to have a field field day do you understand me bro those movement bro oh my god those movement call of duty content creators that and actually bro i know some of them they're going to have an absolute field day with this omni movement bro because not only can you just sprint and shake left shake right brother you can sprint left sprint right slide under bro you can bro oh my god you can even jump back bro you can sprint while running back you can sprint while running. You can sprint while running back. When have we ever, brother? That is cheese to me. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I like it. <laughs> That's the thing. I like this type of cheese, bro. This type of cheese I like. It's not like blue cheese. Like, bro, I actually like this type of cheese, bro. Brother, like, and then and then and then, brother. There's no prone lock. There's no prone lock. That's what it basically look like. There's no prone lock because when while you're on the ground, bro, you can like. You can like twist your body, but it's not even, no, 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 you're not even twisting your body, brother. You can like go under, turn around, you can shoot while you're on it. So basically you can dive backwards and shoot, bro. That is hard, bro. You can dive, brother, brother, you can, di you got, you, listen, you know how like you dolphin dive, bro. You can like dive back while shooting, bro. Since when have we ever been a... You can, you, brother, you can jump back, bro. You can jump back and shoot at the same time, bro. And then, and then, and then, and still be on the, and you can still be on the ground while shooting. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's, that's basically all I got. Everything else was like a little just, I was so excited. I just, I just started typing in like anything. You can slide in any direction. You can dive in any direction. Um, uh, oh, we have two zombie maps. Uh, what what else? Two new zombie maps. It comes out October twenty fifth. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my breakdown for this. Comment down below. What's your favorite feature of the uh, of the game so far? See you guys later. Thanks for them out. <sighs> I think we're back, man. I think we're back. See you guys later. Thanks for them out.